Um, difficult to take that today. Difficult to take. We, you know, we can take losing to the better side, but it's how you lose. Yeah, we got a consolation goal when City took their foot off the gas, but that could have been five 0 by half time. There was no passion, no fight, I don't, no, 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 passion. no. Well, from certain players, um, I thought. Um, and but the tactics, we just we just couldn't find a way to, to get ourselves back in the game there's, at all. There's, there's no tactics, is it? It's it, it's ridiculous. I, think, I just think sometimes it's just got. To, I mean, I'm not only. I think I want I want to be a, but I want to be a better manager. If that makes sense. Mm. Like, how how is he going to do that? How is he going to do that? <laughs> what what does he need to do? What's he <laughs> lacking? More experience in, in being a manager, doesn't he? Mm. That's what he means. But he can't he, he can't have everything. The, like perfect scenarios, Poch in charge of the team, mm. Solskjaer in charge of the culture and mm. man, it's not well out, does it? Mm. That's was that, was that was that individual was that individual errors today that it cost us or was no, it just big thing, a team? Big thing to me, big thing to me. What well, end of the game? I don't know if anyone stayed to watch it because a lot of people just walked out. But uh, Lindelof, the only Man United player to stay on the pitch and, and apologise to United fans. Mm. Did you see that? Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. Stood out there on his own and he looked all sides of the ground and he holds hands up and he, and he clapped and holds hands up. And to me, that's. He should be wearing the captain band for me. I mean, I don't know. I don't see. I'm not. not I mean, Rashford mm. were the captain tonight, yeah. Like, he scored a goal, and, that, and Rashford, he's Man United through and through. I get all that, but he's not a captain. He's not a captain, is he? He's not a leader. Mm. I'm not saying Lindelof is, but if we've just seen that at the end of the game, mm. yeah, why is that? Why is not him picking up in that? Like, there's nobody see that leadership quality. Mm. If he's, if he's one, it must be something in his, you know, in his like mm. it, how he is. Well, to, to be fair, he, he knew he had he had quite a bad game. I thought he obviously at fault for the, the second goal. He looked unsure on the ball along alongside I Phil think Jones. Anybody, ever, anybody has a bad they, game. They, they, they did, but maybe but maybe Lindelof sort of was taking ownership games. taking anybody ownership of his own performance by. Jones, well, saying. yeah, exactly. But I mean, was that was was that was that Pep? In, was it him kind of saying, "Look, I've tweaked it so that that was a one-off"? What happened? What happen. Yeah, that was a one-off at the Etihad. Pep knew what was going to happen. He knew, he knew that how we were going to set up. And mm. well, well we were we're so thin in play at the depth. We haven't we got the squad mm. anyway. If we get a few injuries, we're, we're buggered, aren't we? Like, yeah. We've got nobody. It's like we've got we've got recruit players. We knew this in summer though, and we didn't do nothing about it. And it's like it's like he's fetched young players through. And I get this. United's built on built on the academy players, and we fetched. He think I think all he thought in his in his mind they could break, he could fetch five or six academy players through to to start you know, to the to the first team and it'd be like the class ninety two kind of thing and we get a bit hype and it, it, it's not really happened does it and I mean I feel sorry for Brandon Williams mm. I mean he, I, he was he was brilliant though so, wasn't he you know he was the only one who could leave that, that pitch for me that nineteen year old screaming for the ball on the wing mm. and you can't even get the heads up professional footballers playing for Manchester United at home Old Trafford against City. They can't even get their head up and, and look mm. for a simple pass out wide. I mean, it's Sunday league stuff. Like they're playing, they're playing back to the goalkeeper, back to the centre back. Jones doesn't know what to do. He's, he's, he's most times looking at the floor. His arms are out. Every time he had the ball, he it's like his arms are out. Where do I pass forward. it? What do I do? And I think he's so low in confidence. He don't want to pass the ball forward, or he don't trust his midfield. Yeah. I don't think anybody trusts the midfield because it's it's just up at the top. Mm. And, and, and I was saying to this guy earlier, I says, I says uh, a long ball from the goalkeeper to Greenwood against Otamendi. So, it's common sense, right? Yeah. Mason Greenwood, nine times out of ten, 99 times out of 100, is never going to win that ball against the mm. So why do we keep doing it? I don't know what you saw as well, especially from playing out from the back as well. It was like, De Gea was very quick to pass it to Jones. Jones didn't want it, goes back to De Gea. De Gea goes to Lindelof, Lindelof goes back to De Gea. They didn't have a clear plan of what they were doing. The reason why I do is because the reason why I do is because they, they look for the short ball to the centre back to play from the back, which the top teams do. Which we 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 try and mask that we're a top team, and we try and pretend to everybody that we're this top team. So it's like that's how we should play. You know what I mean? We should play from the back and play out, but we can't get the players to do it. And we ain't got the midfield. There's no midfield. There's no midfield at all. Mm. And I mean, it's like McTominay. I mean, McTominay. I, I right, McTominay. I think he's a quality player. I think he's still got a lot to learn. Mm. I think all everyone can agree with that. But yeah. I think he's one in the making. Uh, I think he's, he's a United player through and through. He loves the club. He's, you know what I mean? He's mm. fully United player. But he needs time. You, know, you can't expect him all this season. And we're not affording it. It's like he's the main guy. Yeah, exactly. And it's like he's come injured. And, 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 and like a few games we've been out and we've been absolutely lost. And it, we, all this, and he's still a young lad. You know what I mean? He's still developing his. And these type of players in the Ferguson era would have been, would have been bled into the team, you know, slowly and, and, and give time to, to develop as players. You know what I mean? To learn, learn, learn the way we play. But it's like front that like you, like you must play this role. Mm. 
every week, week in, week out. And when he's injured, we've got no... We've got no... Do, you, do you think this crop of players under this management team, so I'm not just talking about Oli, I'm the coaches that are there under this it's regime... The week, it's only the week, though, who's studying, we're saying, oh, two great results against Tottenham mm. City, the same side, the same mm. side, the same... But, though, but that's what I'm saying, we, we, we keep seeing them inconsistency. So do you, that's what I was going to say. Do you think that this lot can get themselves out I of think, this little rut? we're like a jigsaw with missing pieces. Mm. I do. I think we've got the bases of a good side. I think we've got... I, think, I get what he's tried to do, like everyone's, a lot of people all they are, and, and I'm not in all that, I, I don't, I really don't know where I am with him. I, like I said before, when I started, like, I want all his way of thinking, mm. but I want him to be a better tactical manager. Yeah, yeah. But can you have both? Can you have that, exactly. Yeah. Are, are you going to be able to go out of the world of football and say, right, are you a United fan? Mm. Do you love United to the core? But are you a tactical genius? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Are you good enough to be yeah. an elite? We've got to judge him as a manager. We can't, we can't yeah, judge him on saying, sentiment. Like, yeah. You can't have the best all world. So you want, ideally, somebody who's going to come in mm. with the right philosophy, like the right philosophy. We've tried this though. How many managers have we gone through mm. recently? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think with United fans were lucky to have Sir Alex as long as we did. Mm. Like, it was, it was the same every season, like how we, how we were and he, all the way through the club. He brought, he brought players through and it just, like, I think all he's tried to Kind of like replicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. He's tried to. He's seen so Alex what he did, and the short time he's tried to cram it all into a couple, of, like you know, a year. Like you mm. know what I mean. Like it's like you can't. Don't work like. It's like. But like everyone says about the investment. Like have we got the investment? He says there's money there. Is mm. there? Like these questions. It, we don't like, see it. We don't see heavily United, investment do, do in terms of that. Do you want to come to United though? Mm. Like we're on about James Madison. Does, does he want to come to United? He's mm. supposed to be a United fan. If you were a United fan now, I should have the question. If you're playing you for Leicester second, yeah. would you want to come to Old Trafford, really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, would you? Would you? Thanks for talking to us, bro. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.